was requested to do this the longest time ago and um, so I'm finally doing it. I didn't do it for so long because they were all scattered around the house and I could never get them in one place to do the video but this is going to be my MAC lipstick collection. Um, I have had more and I've sold them on blog sales and stuff just because I didn't actually use them and I'm surprised I've actually managed to hold on to as many as I have because I, they just don't wear lipstick very often. Um, and when I do, it's generally not MAC, and I don't know why, it's just not the ones that I reach for. If I was wearing a bright colour, then it would be, but for every day, I'm not big on nudes, and I don't have a lot of kind of basic colours from MAC, because they're a little bit more expensive than the drugstore lipsticks that I generally buy. And I can't believe how many lipsticks in general I've got, bearing in mind I don't really wear lipstick. Um, because they're a little bit more expensive, I don't tend to buy the kind of everyday colours, which is really stupid because the lipsticks I've got will never ever, ever get worn out because I don't wear it enough. The only lipstick that I do have, just deciding how to actually do this so I can see what's what. The only lipstick that I do have that generally stays in my handbag is this one, which is Viva Glam 5. This is probably, I'm going to say maybe my favourite lipstick. This is my favourite lipstick just because I can use it every single day. This is an everyday slap it on without a mirror lipstick. Perfect to keep in your handbag. I really do love that. It's a, it is the My Lips But Look, My Lips But Better lipstick that you search for. So I really, really love the Eva Glam 5. What's the matter? He's managed to make it into all my videos recently. He's been very fussy, aren't you? But when he's awake, he likes to sit up, you see. And he likes to see what's going on, so he's awake. And he always seems to be awake when I try to make a video. And all the rest of the time he's always asleep. But I have to use the, the light while I have it now. It's a little bit too bright outside, so I've started to close my curtains when I film. And I don't know how the lighting is. Someone said in my last video I like I was wearing loads of bronzer, and I'm really not. I'm not wearing a, a scrap of bronzer. Um, so I don't know how the lighting really is. Some people said it was okay, but hopefully it's not too dark for you to be able to see things. I don't know whether I'm going to swatch the lipsticks in this video now, because of him. Uh, but I will do a blog post where I'll swatch them. I'll try and do lip posts as well. At the very least, I'll do a swatch of each of them and label them, and um, I'll link that below. You'll be see it. Um, the next one that I really like, I'm going to go through my nudes first. I know lots of people like the nudes. I think that's the more. Yeah. Okay, the nudes that I've got, of which there are three. The first one is Freckle Tone, which is probably my most worn nude. I actually got this from a blog sale, which is why it's more worn down than any of the other ones that I've got. Freckle tone, it's a lot more, it's a lot warmer, it's a lot kind of, it's not as pale, it doesn't wash me out as much. Um, and that is a cream sheen, is that? No, it's not, it's a luster. Um, next is Myth. I pretty much never wear this. I'm not entirely sure why I bought this. I think I just bought it because it was like a must have and everyone wants it and whatever. So it's okay maybe to go underneath a gloss or something, but I probably wouldn't wear this on its own. Um, because it would like really, really wash me out. But it's the classic one that everyone likes, Smith. And that one is a satin. Oh, the Viva Glam was a luster as well, by the way. Um, this one I bought from the Venomous Villains collection, which is Innocence Beware, and this is a more pinky nude. Again, it's something that I hardly ever wear. I put it on the other day to make a video, and I thought, I don't really like it. I'll never get rid of it. Oh, it smells like that outside of Tic Tacs. Amazing. Um, I'll never get rid of it just because I really like the ones that are from limited edition collections. Um, so I won't get rid of those ones, but I probably won't get much wear out of it at all, really. I mean, I've had that since Venomous Villains came out and that's pretty much the full thing still left. Um, and that one is a cream sheen. Well, that's really pinky compared to the other ones. Um, then I'll go on to my brights because I love the brights. I love the bright ones. I hardly ever wear bright lipstick, again. I don't really know why I have so many of them, but I just love them. Um, there are a couple that I've bought just because I like the names, or just because I liked that they were from limited edition collections, and I know that I'll never wear them, so it's a bit of a waste, but it's a collection, it's the whole point. People like us on YouTube, that's what we buy things for, to keep them. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Hibiscus from um, the... What collection was this? I want to say To The Beach, but that was last year. Max Surf Baby, that's what it was. Um, the Hibiscus one. 
you can see this has hardly ever been used. This was a crazy purchase because I have not got the whitest teeth in the world and this is kind of an orangey red. So it's not going to make my teeth look any whiter. It was a crazy thing to buy. So I've hardly ever worn that. It's quite a nice colour but perhaps not the best and most flattering for me. Um, another one on that track is this one which is Vegas Vault. And I only bought this because it was called Vegas Vault and because we were going to get married in Las Vegas and I was obsessed with everything Vegas. So I bought Vegas Vault. I've worn it once or twice but it's the most orangey thing ever. So you've got to be wearing like a real bold look. You've got to really want a bold look to wear that one. Again I have worn it but it's not going to be one of my most worn. Um, the three that I have now are probably my most worn MAC lipsticks. The first one is Speak Louder, and I would wear this during the day, I love this. This, actually if you see, that's actually sh much shorter than I thought it would be. This I have actually worn quite a few times. This is probably more, more than the Viva Glam 5. This one and Viva Glam 5 stay in my handbag all the time. Um, I'm not a big bright lipstick during the day fan, but if I was to wear a bright lipstick this would be it. I absolutely love that. Speak Louder and that is a cream sheen. And I feel like that's kind of a daytime version of Impassioned, which is an uber bright pink and I love. This is amazing with the tan. I wore this, I know I wore this on my birthday this year. And it's just like the most awesome colour. That's an Amplified. And last is this one. And everyone that's had this and lost it, or everyone that's tried it and didn't buy it, has regretted it. Because this is awesome. It's called Toxic Tail, and this again was from the Venomous Villains collection. And it's kind of an orangey... It is still an orangey red, I suppose. An orangey pinky red, somehow. But it's like, again, an uber bright, and that's a satin. So it's almost kind of a matte. And it stays on a little bit better than the other ones that I've got. I do love Impassioned. Um, and I probably love Impassioned more than I love this one. Um, but this is a beautiful colour, and I love that it was limited edition. Um, the last two that I have are kind of middle-of-the-road shades. And they are probably like the daytime shade that I'm saying I don't have. Um, again, a really orangey colour. I went through a phase of thinking that I wanted to wear peachy lipsticks and they were the lipsticks that would suit me, peachy kind of colours. And they really don't at all. Um, this one is Ravishing, which is just kind of a peach. It's a lot like Revlon's uh, Colour Burst Peach. And this one, I think I got this one in a blog sale as well, because uh, I know that I wouldn't have bought this from the store. It's Angel. And I'm now hanging on to this because I've been told, or I've read, or whatever, that this is Kim Kardashian's favourite lipstick. So I figure at some point I'll do another Kim Kardashian look and I'll use that. But I pretty much never ever wear it. Um, I think I did use it in a tutorial quite recently. Um, but otherwise I never wear it out of the house. It's just not my kind of colour. Um, so there, there you go. I've got a relatively small MAC lipstick collection. It's not small, it's like medium, I'd say. Is that right? Eleven. Um, Eleven lipsticks. Medium collection. Um, and I don't wear them very often at all. So for those of you that are like desperate for MAC lipsticks, choose wisely. Um, make sure that you get the ones that are similar to colours that you actually really do like because what's the point in having them if you're not going to wear them? Uh, the limited edition ones are more collected editions I suppose, that's a little bit different but for the, for the normal ones I have got rid of so many already. Um, I probably have twice as many as that and I've got rid of them in vlog sales because I just don't wear them. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't swatch but you know, it wasn't going to allow me to. So I will do a whole separate blog post with swatches and you can check those below. And um, I hope we didn't ruin it too much the window of swatches. I know people like to see swatches in videos but I'll do it in better lighting and you'll be able to see the colours a little bit better in a blog post anyway. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already please go and subscribe. I am slowly getting through my request list. Um, and. If you have any more requests, then let me know, but otherwise, if you've already requested something, it's on my list, and I am going to get to it eventually. I'm just slowly plodding through it all. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!